Okay, this is a uh, video on uh, using the transfer function in Alpaca, which is sort of like a um, like an audio mixer, but for but for images. So you can transfer the attributes from one image to another, and you can alter an image by changing the prompt. So I'll demonstrate this, as that's it's not all that easy to work out what it's doing, but once you realise what it's doing, then it's quite useful. So I generated this image, which is a sort of 18th century, 19th century French painter based on, with a bit of a William Morris wallpaper behind, and it produces this quite smooth and slick image. So we are going to mix it with this, which is which is what the, the this prompt, so we're going to use a different prompt. So as you see, the two prompts produce very different images in a very different style. And what we're going to do uh, is mix those together and sort of blend them progressively. So here's our base image and we go into transfer and the settings I was using to test where the prompt was at seven and then I did different transfer strengths. So here's the transfer slider and I started off very low and I worked up to um, higher levels. So the first one, this was 0.1 and this is mixing the other prompt in. 0 0.2, 0 0.55 and 0 0.6. So if you go back to the base, we've come on quite a journey. Here it is done at a different level. The prompt is set at 10. As you see, it changes more quickly. And finally, once the transfer strength is set to uh, one, uh, it's all prompt and more or less none of the original image. I, I did it with the prompt set higher still. This is the prompt set at 16. And you just get to the, uh, you get to the, the uh, prompt just that bit quicker, basically. Uh, it can be a good idea to uh, do it in steps, generally. Then the other thing you can do, which we'll look at in here, is you can add a reference image here, and you can set the transfer to hard edge or soft edge. Uh, pose wouldn't mean much in this case, but if you're doing a figure, you can use pose. And so you can, you, you can use the reference image settings here, and so you have the different strengths for the reference image. So now you're mixing a prompt, and two images together. So I am not going to go through all of the uh, permutations because uh, that would make a very, very long video. But I will just quickly run through uh, what the results are. So, so if we go back to our original, um, this is mixing with uh, a reference image, uh, which is quite away from this one. So the reference image is this. It's still a person, but they're from a very different place. So I'll just go through uh, and you can set the layers to active, visible and, and so forth. I, I won't go through which is which. Uh, th this is with it set on visible. Um, you get a small change. That's it set on active. So that as uh, you can see that you can see the mix going through. And that's not terribly interesting. I don't think it is just literally mixing the two together. So here it is set on visible with the reference strength to one, uh, active with the reference strength to two, so that is the references coming out strong there. Uh, this is nine, with the reference one, so again the reference image wins, then visible at 1.5, and then the various soft and hard, and this is 0 0.9 visible reference 10, which produces a more interesting effect. It's sort of taking, it's taking the tonal values from uh, the reference image and mixing it with the uh, both the base image I'm using and also the um, reference image. So it's mixing mixing the two mixing the two together. I found that most interesting result on that. But uh, you want to experiment. Once you get to that, there are so many different variables. Um, the other thing you can do is to once you, this is not using a reference image anymore, uh, is once you have a, a generation uh, at 0 0.5 with the transfer at 0 0.5, you can then use that 
as your main layer and you can basically turn up the volume and you can see you get incremental changes and you and you end up in a different place than uh, than you ended up in going the other route doing it in one so you end up in a different place not necessarily better or worse place just a different so here here we have the same thing just with a different prompt setting so it happens quicker but but as you see you end up you end up in a quite a different place so i hope that is clear and uh they have a, a, a guide on their site that gives the basics, but uh, this might give you an idea of, of some of the possibilities. Okay, hope that was informative. Thank you very much.